Hey guys, and welcome to the VRE channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft HoloLens. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Microsoft's HoloLens has now been available in the UK for quite some time, with developers beavering away on new projects and businesses slowly starting to adopt the augmented reality headset in experimental workflow tests, it's easy to get carried away with the HoloLens. Not only is it a revolutionary device, bringing hologram-like visuals to the real world, it's also a pretty cool concept to work with. So what is a Microsoft HoloLens? Microsoft HoloLens is the first completely wireless, self-contained holographic computer on the market. To put it in simple terms, it projects images over your vision so they appear as holograms, providing you with more information about the world around you or changing the way you perceive a space. So how does Microsoft HoloLens work? If you think Microsoft HoloLens sounds like witchcraft, it's actually incredibly simple. Microsoft includes specialized components within the device. The device contains sensors, optics, and custom holograph processing units that enable the gadget to go beyond the screen. Basically, within the headset, there are two holographic lenses that display images projected from the HoloLens, two high-definition light engines. Combine this with four environment understanding cameras, a depth camera, and a measuring unit, and an ambient light sensor and you have the images that react and respond to an environment around you. These aren't holograms in the strictest terms, but they're close enough and unlike anything ever produced on the market. So say you've bought the HoloLens, you're gonna be wondering what's in the box. When you open the carry case, you're greeted by a Microsoft phone piece. If you lift this phone piece up, you can see the instruction manual. Underneath the instruction manual, you'll see that there is an overhead strap, nose pads, charger and cable, a clicker, and of course the HoloLens. The carry case is not huge, but also not too small. It fits in any regular size bag and is really easy to transport. So what can Microsoft HoloLens do? Microsoft designed the HoloLens to be used in the workplace first and foremost. It is also very well designed in terms of weight distribution and fit. Other VR headsets have a tendency to feel front heavy and they become uncomfortable after long periods of time using it. But the HoloLens uses a counterbalance system, similar to the PlayStation VR. The bulk of the unit doesn't actually rest on your head. Instead, it's attached to a second concentric headband inside the main's body circumference where it can be adjusted to fit the user. Adjusting it is very easy and intuitive. The inner headband can be tightened on the back with a dial, while you can move the visor itself closer or further from your eyes. And once it was comfortably seated, I didn't feel like it was in any danger of slipping off. Audio is provided via the built-in array of speakers, while providing positional sound based on holographic objects location in the room, it's actually pretty good. As in the volume, the speakers are loud enough to hear perfectly clearly, but not so loud to disturb anyone else in the room. The most impressive feature, however, in the HoloLens is that it's totally untethered. HoloLens doesn't need a massive array of trailing wires in order to function. In fact, it doesn't need to be paired to a computer at all. Because it's actually portable, employees can use it out in the field, which opens up a huge number of business use cases. Based on my initial experiences, I can safely say that the HoloLens will seriously shake up the future of computing, and it won't replace traditional desktops anytime soon. But beyond the question, Microsoft has certainly served up a slice of the future. So that is the Microsoft HoloLens. Hopefully that really gives you a good indication of what Microsoft HoloLens can actually do, what's included when you buy a Microsoft HoloLens, and what kind of things we can hope for in the future. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel for regular updates on when we upload a new video, and yeah, we'll hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, guys.